Welcome to another episode of What is Going On in the UC. And today we're going to talk about church expansion. Mm -hmm. Church expansion. Now, the most important thing to understand about church expansion, like I said, the most important thing at this point in history, the most important thing to understand about church expansion right now is this, is that it is not the most important thing. <laughs> that is the most important thing for us to understand about church expansion. It is not the most important thing. Church expansion is a strategy within the overall goal of expansion of the movement. And movement expansion is centered on, um, you know, mobilization. That is not the most important thing because that is just about ultimately expanding God's tradition and God's lineage, which are the most important thing. And even there's something even more critical or more central that is behind that desire. The desire to expand the lineage and God's tradition is the desire to expand true love and true happiness. Okay? Since true love and true happiness depend upon uh, restoration of the, the or the creation of heavenly tradition okay that's the reason why we uh, look to expand heavenly tradition since we're looking to expand heavenly tradition that's the reason why we'd be looking to expand the movement and since we'll be looking to expand the movement one of the strategies of expanding the movement would be to expand the church part of the movement. The expansion of the church is not the most important thing. Church is a restoration age word. It's very loaded. Um, but you know, uh, there may be a new way to understand church. It means, you know, the body of believers, okay, or how we get together and organize together. But you know, uh, there are many ways to call that. We could you know, small groups. Affinity groups, uh, home church, tribal messiahship. There's so many different ways. Point is, what are you going to do to expand the lineage and the tradition of heaven? What are you going to do to expand the knowledge of what it is that Sun Myung Moon and Hak Han Moon have been offering us? That is the question. What can you do? Now, First thing that we confront, that well, a person like me, the first thing we confront is do I understand what it is that I'm trying to sell? Okay? And the first, what are we really trying to sell? Well, this means we have to deal with issues of lineage because obviously that's what we're selling. That's what we're selling. That's what we're desiring to give away. If you don't understand what it is you, that you're trying to offer to people, you know, they'll just stand there in front of you and they'll go, mm hmm so what is that thing? And if you're not able, if you don't have any understanding, you're not a good salesman. Okay, so let's talk about some of the ideas of expanding the tradition. Our tradition is there for the purpose of supporting the lineage. The unabated progress of uh, God's, God's love. Okay, that is our lineage. The unabated progress of God's love. The understanding of God's love, that God's love is most profoundly expressed, even though it's expressed in four great realms of heart, it is most profoundly expressed. The center of the four great realms of heart and the center of God's love, the, the fulcrum, is the husband and wife relationship. The, our economic system is even dependent upon happy families. There's already correlations between uh, single parent homes and the amount of crime and poverty in, a, a, in any given community. Okay, even even the flow of money is 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 smoother. The the, the innovation is is is. Um, more abundant uh, in cultures where people are emotionally liberated and you don't have that emotional liberation in broken families 
So even people are realizing that, you know, the couple or coupleism, true coupleism, you know, um, is the center of harmony in so many areas. We're talking all the way up to the level of world peace. And um, we should be interested in expanding that knowledge because as that knowledge gets out around the world, it will only support the tradition that we've been emphasizing all along. And you can't push Father first and foremost. You have to push the revelation. You have to push, um, you know, uh, the, the practical advantages of the things that Father has stood for. Okay, and this means you cannot go out and just be be some kind of seemingly detached fanatic uh, of of a true father and true mother. You have to, you actually have to study, and your faith has has to encompass um, the, the the scientific unfolding of God's principle. We all should be uh, in carp. We should all should be sort of studying the principle. Um, the more we do this and convict ourselves inside, the more it just is going to flow outside, outside of us. So, um, yeah, it's not just about something going on in the spirit world. It's going on scientifically. Why? Because we really have to sell this thing in the real world. And there are many people who are not spiritual. But if you explain it to them scientifically, you know, they're all for it. So, um, this is all I got to say about church expansion. Okay, bye.